Oh, he's done him. The 1970s and 80s was an era ruled by pace bowlers. It was a time when captains and selectors were suspicious of the often inaccurate and expensive ways of the leg spinner. But then came Shane Warne, blessed with phenomenal accuracy and prodigious spinning ability. He would elevate the art to a new high. Oh, beautifully bowled. We've often talked about the fact that he's the best leg spin bowler that there's ever been. A man that, that makes it curve. Uh, very few kids get the ball to curve. Very few leg spinners get it to curve. He does it naturally, and, and that's one of his magnificent uh, gifts. Um, others uh, try to make it drift by doing funny things with their hands. Shane does it with spin. He's just had so much going for him that, that at times um, I think he's, he's gone a little bit bored, um, but then he's become revitalised, and every time he gets revitalised, it's no secret that the Australian team get revitalised too. If you look at Shane Warne's hands, he's got thick fingers, which is a prerequisite, I think, or the long fingers for leg spinning. And he's really strong. He's a strong person, strong wrists, strong fingers. And uh, he's always spun the ball a long way. When he first started, he never had the control that he's got now. But uh, that's something that, that always stood out from a young age, how much he could spin the ball. I think there's things that Shane Warne can do that other leg spinners can't. Whether that's his arm, whether it's his fingers, whether it's his body, something is built um, freakishly that's given him greater ability than others and I think that's what he's got. I think he's got physical ability uh, more than other spinners right from the word go. His accuracy is, uh, combined with the spin is what's made him so special. Batsmen never get away from him. And it's, it's, it's awesome. I mean, I remember when I used to bat against Dennis Lilly, for example, and you used to want to get a one to get away from him. I can tell you that if you don't get away from someone like Warren, he'll get you too. And for once, uh, in a long time, a spin bowler is as dangerous, if you like, as a pace bowler. So he has the ability to keep you on strike at the same time as uh, working you over. Got him! Well, that's magnificently bold. Taylor had a word with him. He's a very aggressive player, and I say that in the nicest possible way. He's, to me, um, a slow bowler uh, with a fast bowler's mentality. Uh, and as I mentioned, he has the ability to intimidate batsmen by his deliveries, and also by the way he's able to get into their psyche uh, and worry them with his deliveries. He doesn't have the, 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 the fast bowler's advantage of being able to bowl 140 kilometres an hour and bowl short, which is a worry when you're a batsman. He doesn't have that, but he's still able to intimidate batsmen just by his range of deliveries and the way that he gets under their skin. Got him, yes! 